Okay, now we're here back with the third part of our review of Devastator Encore 20. Uh, the purpose of this review is not going to be to go over certain aspects of the characters and their bios and cert um specifically it's more of to go over uh the quality of these figures uh compared to other reissues that I've seen to G1 I I do I said before I don't have G1 but I do have a G1 mix uh long haul so I could actually vouch for something with him and then I'm supposed and then I'm going to go over the issues uh, with quality control, well, quality control, uh, sticker apps, uh, everything like that. Like now I know there have been issues where, um, I forget one of their heads, maybe Bone Crusher's head. I'm gonna get these names mixed up. I'm sorry, but yeah. So yeah, there's been issues where Bone Crusher's head hasn't been included in this set. Like it was left out, part of quality control. But as you can see here, I have all six heads, so I didn't run into that problem. Uh, but there is another problem that I see, is that some of these rub symbols are in the worst locations that could possibly be on the figure. Like, let's take a look at who is this, Mixmaster here. Um, some of these stickers, like, they're not on straight, that's for one. And then the rub symbol right there right where the damn connector piece is see that little hole next to the rub symbol yeah there's supposed to be a peg that goes into there and the rub symbol is right on top of it so that's not good that's gonna get damaged right out of the box another thing I see is that uh, there's a lot of scratches on them like in one of their buckets I forget whose bucket uh dang who's got a bucket oh um this guy the steam shovel yeah it's this guy in his chest piece mm, I guess you can't see it uh, there's still some die cast in them but as to uh, plastic quality I'm gonna start saying now it does feel a bit cheap now it doesn't feel as cheap as him that is like one of the worst um, feeling toys I've ever had. That feels like a straight up knockoff. Like it feels the same quality as this thing. I got this thing for like 20 bucks off of eBay. Just cause like I didn't have a Devastator and I really wanted one and I went for him. And this is what I got. He's actually pretty decent. He makes a nice display piece. And he stands at exactly eight and a half inches tall. And um, yeah, this is cheapest cheap you can find Jack stop it hi good boy uh, yeah and his quality of plastic is the exact same as him if not worse uh, yeah that Pranacon was horrible I should do a review on him but these guys are somewhere in between of a regular uh, vintage one a legitimate one and this Encore, it does feel cheap. It's very flimsy, right out of the box. Nothing tight. The plastic, it feels a bit light compared to the G1. Like, the G1 was very sturdy. These guys definitely feel a bit lighter, but not as light as a straight-up KO. So I don't know if that helps, but that's what I was looking for. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, stickers. Um... Some of them already come pre-applied. I'm not going to put any on them because I want to keep this thing as clean as possible so I don't screw anything up. These are the stickers you get on them. On ro Most of the stickers are from robot mode. Yeah, they look good. Uh, and the light, the color of the figure actually looks good. It's like a lime green, a light lime green. That one's really lime green. You can see it here. You can see how different they are. This is lime lime green. This is much paler. It's a nice green though. Okay, so now I'm gonna put them into ro into that Devastator took a mode. long while. I was really delicate with this guy, and I went really slow. But um, yeah, here's Devastator all combined. This is 
the Encore version and this is my knockoff version. You could really tell the difference now between two different greens. Actually this one has like two different greens within itself but I'm pretty sure the G1 2 had that. Like see the, the canopy section on on Bone Crusher? Uh, yeah it's a different green than the rest of his body and that part is actually feels a lot cheaper than the rest of him so anything that's like a lighter color feels really cheap um, yeah here you can see that they're nearly the same exact size but my KO is just slightly bigger it's, he has the edge we'll stay on equal ground but you could see that yeah KO Devaster is actually a little bit bigger. Uh, I had a lot of trouble putting this guy together. But, eh, you know how it is. It's actually a pretty good KO. Makes a nice display. But, you know, uh, they did some things right in this release. And they did some wrong. Like, quality control. Uh, the quality of the plastic. Um... Everything else works well though. You see the crane portion on hook here is also chromed out, it's not die cast. At least I don't think so. And uh, stay tuned for the second part because I'm going to put this whole unboxing into one video and then this one's going to be its own separate video because I know people are going to be looking for that. Yes, that. People are going to be looking for that specifically, so I'll be doing that.